Nope. I wonder if you go through the game, is it the same as in Mass Effect 2, do all the areas fill up with people? I sure hope so, because I kind of like that. I wonder if we get to play poker here. That would be most interesting. My most, yes, my most, with two M's. Let's check this research. You're positive you don't want to come over and talk. Huh? No, the gun battery is nice and quiet. If I throw down some rugs, it'll get downright cozy. Garrus? I'll be fine, Leora. I'm just gathering some thoughts. All right. All righty then. Hello, Leora. Hello again, Shepard. So, what's new? What have you been up to since we last saw each other? After the time I saw you on Ilium? Well, apart from becoming the broker, I spent my time looking for any defense. Wait a minute, did we already members. talk to her? The only substantial records were the Protheans. I knew the elusive man was hunting for the same thing when our agents began crossing paths. Like on Mars? I thought I'd covered my tracks, but he had surveillance there all along. I'm pretty sure we already talked to her, but... I'll just skip through this then. I was too late to save him. I think I've already done this, so I'm having to skip through it. Yes, that's precisely why you're confined to the cabin. I was merely attempting. Yes, that's precisely why. Um. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. We did already talk to her, so thank God I skipped through that. Okay, so let's check your computer. Parisian notes, entry two. I'm not sure what to make of Javik. I approached him while we were travelling to a different system, but he wasn't very inclined to talk. What little he does say concerns the Reapers and our possible failure. Is he simply a soldier mourning his people, or is it a fundamental difference in our cultures? Well, put it this way, we're 50,000 years apart. It's kind of a big gap in time. Prothean Notes 2186 Entry 1 The things this Prothean must have seen. If they had the technology to preserve someone for over 50,000 years, no wonder they were capable of building things like the device on Mars. Must give him the time to get his bearings, but goddess, when will we get another chance to learn so much about their civilization? That's notes on the Prothean. You never see male Asari? I haven't seen a male Asari, as far as I can recall. You always see female Asari. Are they all female? That is weird. I can't remember anything about that. It says goddess as well, she refers to. A lance interrogation record. Cerberus operative. A lance interrogator one. Ugh. Check out these implants. She's got jammed into her face. A lance interrogator two. Shush, she's awake. Cerberus is offered as... Cer... My god. Cerberus operative. Unintelligible. AI two. Hello. Do you know where you are? CO. Unintelligible. AI one. Do you know how much goddamn trouble you're in? Yeah, I do. Hey, ease up. Listen, you're in trouble. I'm not going to lie. That doesn't mean we can't work something out. If you help us, we can. Explosion. Ah, cough. Are you okay? I'm okay. Cough. But holy hell, she's dead. What? The whole front of her face is gone. Some kind of ocular flashbang? Well, she it. Is everyone in Cerberus rigged up like that? Hmm. <laughs> that was Dr. Ida. Eva. I guess attacked him. Let's see what we can get here. Remains of Reaper Destroyer. Upgrades. Open. Store discount bonus. Plus 5%. Destroy the remains. For store discount. Okay. Right. 10 2 special suits of armor. What suits of armor? Or discount bonus suit. We have two suits of armor now? What the hell? Better go check it out on the bottom deck, I guess. Shuttle bay. Let's see. Armor locker. Casa fabrication. Armax Arsenal. 
Interesting. Keep it lights on it. Sparkly lights. No, stick with the Reckoner Knight. Let's check this dog, see if it does anything new. Hey, doggy. Scan me. Can you do anything? Hey there. Stupid dog. Doesn't do anything. What a waste. You got anything to say, James? From one James to another. up with Edie? She's found a new home, I guess. A super hot, sexy home. Huh. You take her on a mission, I'm gonna be just a little bit distracted. Well, I won't take you then. Um, already asked about all this shit, didn't we? Well, catch you later. Talk to you later. You bet. Although I probably won't. Stupid dog. Weapon bench. Did we get any new upgrades? I think we did. No, we didn't. Okay, never mind. We can buy weapon upgrades. We've got something new here. Medija capacity is increased by one. I will purchase that. What else have we got? Inferno armor? Wow! Power recharge speeds, power damage. That's for biotic people though, mostly because it's power recharge and power damage. I don't really need that. Looks pretty cool though. Eddie gel capacity upgrade. So let's go up to deck two. You got anything to say? Commander, are you alright? It was fairly intense up here. I can only imagine what it was like down on that moon. I thought you'd be more concerned about Edie. Edie is a huge asset to this team. If she'd told me about her plan to obtain a body, I'd have volunteered to help. You're crazy. I'd have preferred a conflict of interest to a hard restart of half our systems. But thanks, regardless. Hmm. While you're here, though, I found something while scanning Alliance channels. Ooh. Grissom Academy is requesting help. Grissom the Academy? Invasion front will hit them soon. What the hell's Grissom Academy? I thought the war would close most schools. Grissom Academy is more specialized than a normal school. It's home to some of the smartest students humanity has to offer. Did you the come Ascension from there? project is the best training facility in the galaxy for human biotics. I see. It's not an average school. They might even be doing work for the Alliance. All right, I'd help them, sure. What can we do? A Turian evac transport responded to their distress call. So normally, I'd say we don't need to do anything. But something sounded off in the Turian signal. I had Edie perform an analysis. It's fake. Fake? Edie thinks it could be Cerberus. She saw some similarities to the faked encryption protocols. Hmm. I'll take your word for it. In any event, whoever faked the signal wants us to think Grissom Academy is being evacuated. But I believe they're still in danger. It's worth a look. Put it on the map. Adding it now, Commander. Sweet, thanks. Grissom Academy. Got any new meal? No. Okay. Hardy, we haven't even been off the ship, so. Let's go see what Joker's up to. Ah, there's Edie right beside him. Looking good. Looking damn good. Right, what's Joker have to say? Hey Commander, check out my co-pilot! Pull yourself together. She plugged herself into Cerberus Tech without authorization. Well, technically, she is Cerberus Tech, so... Not helping, Joker. I've run the checks, Commander. She's still based in the Normandy. Running this body just gives her a little more flexibility. Sweet. Sweet flexibility. <laughs> I am right here, Jack. Yes, you are, Edie. Yes, you are. Uh, he's enjoying that. 
Hey, I know I used to rag on Garrus for being all angry, but I'm glad he's back. Garrus. A whole lot of crap out there. Let's talk to Edie. Hello, Shepard. Still getting used to greeting people in person? No. I require only one occurrence to adapt to a new concept. How are you adjusting to the arms and legs? I am interested to see how this body performs under real combat conditions. If I could accompany you sometime. Without stress testing, there is no way of knowing if it has serious design oversights. At the moment, it appears... adequate. That's not the word I'd use to describe you. Perhaps we should speak privately. <laughs> yes. I'll be over here, flying the ship. Yep, good luck with that. What's this about? Does Joker not like your new platform? No, he approves. He wants me on the bridge. He says having me within visual range is important to his morale. <laughs> I can see why. Do you believe your crew members should be allowed to disobey an order on moral grounds? I make that calculation. If I give a legitimate order, I expect it to be carried out. I'll be responsible for its costs. Why are you asking about something like that? I was designed by Cerberus. I do not take moral stances that conflict with orders from my executive officers. But when Jeff removed my AI shackles, I became capable of self-modifying my core programming. I, I see. asked Jeff if he thought I should change anything now that I can. He deflected the question with humor. Uh, and you didn't get an answer. Correct. He has repeated this pattern in response to several of my inquiries. Do you think I should make modifications? Um... You should choose your own path. Only you can really answer that question. That's the point of free will. But moral decisions should not be made in a vacuum. If I do not ask the crew for their opinion, I could miss crucial context. Right, fair enough, fair enough. May I ask you the questions Jeff avoids? Sure. When there is time, will you answer them for me? Shoot. If you want level-headed answers to help you fit into polite society, All right. I'm not really the right person. I suppose. I see. I will take that into consideration. So you're not gonna ask me. Okay. And I didn't get... Oh, I did. Any renegade points? No. Anything else to say? Yes, Shepard? Oh, we can ask stuff about you now. Your body's capabilities. Does that body have any useful advantages? Very few. It's optics face forward only. It has no integrated weapon systems or anti-missile countermeasures. I meant in comparison to organic bodies, not the normal. <laughs> oh, I will reassess. The body is resistant to modern small arms fire and temperature extremes. Its balance and agility seem excellent. Its cool. fine manipulation servos and software allow for precision tasks. I'm curious to see if I can alter them. Curiosity seems very organic. Can an AI be curious? I am not entirely free from motivation, Shepard. Cerberus programmed me with several core functions that simulate desires. For Ooh, example, bizarre. my primary objective to keep the Normandy functioning is similar to your self-preservation instinct. Hmm, that's interesting. Your work? You look like you're in the middle of something. I am adapting the infiltration and sabotage programs this body uses for handheld firearms. Why not download a firearms program from a security firm? Because she knows what she's doing. Hmm. The fine motor control from the sabotage programs is more precise than standard mech software. It would be negligent of me not to exploit it to its fullest potential. Okay, you experiment with it. So you're capable of making improvements on your own? Correct. The cyber warfare I was designed for is constantly evolving. Accordingly, I am programmed to seek out and assimilate new information. Assimilate. In organic terms, I want to learn. So you're always learning, that's good, so you're not fixed. A fixed thing is very susceptible to, well, weakness as time goes on. As it outdates itself, so she's constantly upgrading, updating, that's good. So, what do you think of your new body? How's the new body working out? It is interesting. The crew are approaching this platform to speak to me, even though they can do so anywhere in the ship. <laughs> yeah, it's as if they humans. wish to treat me as part of the crew. I am not, but this changes my perspective. I like interesting. it. Interesting. You like things? I didn't realize you had preferences. I do not precisely enjoy something as you do, but my programming contains priorities. 
Actions that fulfill those priorities creates positive feedback for me. I see. I tell the organic crew that I like it. It is shorthand. Will all this new feedback be too distracting? Do not worry, Shepard. I only forget to recycle the Normandy's oxygen when I've discovered something truly mm. interesting. Right. That was a joke. <laughs> he was horrified at this. Uh, that was a joke. Why could she joke? Artificial intelligence has truly grown, obviously, since our concept of it. Okay, so the Normandy's escape. How did you and Joker make it out of Dry Dock to rescue us? Well, she got crafty. You do not want to get on her bad side, Commander. When the Alliance commandeered the Normandy, I deceived their technicians. The crew did not tell them that I was a true AI. So the Alliance soldiers believed I still had VI programming constraints. Hmm. I established the fiction that I would only respond to Jeff's commands. So they often brought him on board under guard. That's cool. You deceived them? Wait, you can lie? Jeff has freed me of Operator Control Shepard. No constraints forced me to give accurate data. This proved useful when the Reapers began landing. I could hack the control of the docking clamps and escape with Jeff inside. The soldiers guarding Jeff were willing to accompany us when Earth was invaded. They are watching over the war room now. Yeah, we were in kind of a rush to get to you. Didn't seem right to just toss him out of the airlock. Okay, that's all for now. Carry on, Edie. Understood. If you wish to talk more, this body will be here. I'm getting the crew used to seeing me on the bridge. Noted. Alrighty, so we've got Edie in a body now. That's interesting. So we can take our missions. I got stuck here yesterday. I can't move. This is sucky. Oh, this is. Oh my god, I can't actually move. I cannot move. I'm stuck. Obviously in awe of Edie, but yeah, this isn't funny. I'm actually stuck. Come on, move your ass. No, why are you doing this to me? So Commander. Uh, Commander. Can I move? Right, I'm gonna have to stop until I can get moving again. 